Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Are you ready for part two of the chaos rise to power in the end times? I am. So then let's get right to it. It is a time of tremendous dark power as the might and majesty of the gods of chaos is visited upon all the lands of the world. From Lustria to Kislev, the skies are darkened by the roiling power of chaos as it seeps out of the realm of chaos into the material universe. The dark gods blast the land with curses, smiting their foes with pillars of fire or squalls of pestilence. Where the fabric of reality grows thin, gibbering, ranting demons tear through, eager to vent their hatred of the living. The end times hold all the horror of prophecy. Even the brave feel fears, chills, caress. Against this coming doom, the great powers of the world brace themselves. Karl Franz rallies his generals, while in Bretonia, Lewin Liancour, now a vassal of the true king, Gil de Breton, leads a knightly host to the aid of their allies. Perhaps Karl Franz's greatest aid comes from the most unlikely of quarters. However, Vlad von Karlstein, dispatched by Nagash to bolster the realms of men against the might of Archeon, returns from his battles in the north and steps into the breach. A vampire, once counted amongst the greatest enemies of the living, Vlad might now be their only hope. As the harbingers of pestilence and decay approach, bitter enemies must set aside rivalries or face obliteration. It is a war for survival between unchanging order and the destructive power of chaos. Crazy shit, man. It's crazy shit. But you can see how this is orchestrating. This is actually something I didn't expect as much. Um, had a lot of debate about how this is going to work. I mean, if chaos really spills into the world, really, it's just the Empire, Bretonia, something like that. That's all you're going to have to hold it back. You're fucking dead. It's over. Game over. But now they're making some very good points here. Chaos flows into this world, but you got to, here's the biggest hitter. Which I believe is going to is going to push it back. A, you have the slan, okay, mages who are capable of changing the orbit of the planet itself, okay, who've been around for hundreds of thousands of years. Who knows what you're going to be able to do with them, okay? Sorry, I'm not going to stop. Next, as they pointed out, you have the neutral people. Oh, I'm sorry, before that, you brought back a second big power, Nagash. Nagash, come on, first of the Toon Kings. He's coming back, and he's not on the side of chaos. So you've got two huge mythical forces of the old world right now. Uh, the Slan, Nagash, they now throw in Von Karlstein. So the first of the vampire... Counts is now on the side of humans and elves and dwarves and the empire. You're looking at big forces now. Now, here's what we're going to see. What what are the Skaven going to do? They haven't even mentioned that yet. Are they going to come out on the side of chaos? If that's the case, they're already in the empire. So, because of that, I have a sneaking suspicion that the Skaven are going to come out on the sides of the Empire and humanity. Because they must. They must. 
if the Skaven was on the sides of the realm of chaos in this situation, then the Bastion means nothing because millions upon millions of Skaven are already in every single city of every single town of the old world. So uh, chaos wouldn't need an army. It's already there. That logic alone tells me that chaos must be on the side of order and the empire. I mean, Skaven, blah, are on the side of order in the Empire. And that's going to be a huge thing. That's a hu The Horned Rat, I'm betting, is going to make an appearance. And sit there and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm not one of those fuckers. That's my guess. We'll see what happens. But until next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.